So, Fire Emblem Three Houses came out last year. Despite being a pretty good game, I wasn't able to get through it on my first playthrough. Recently, I got the chance to jump back in. In Fire Emblem Three Houses, you play as a professor at some sort of religious, military, school academy where they're tasked with turning anime waifus into super soldiers. It's pretty ridiculous how they justify promoting some random ass 20 year old mercenary they just met into a professor. Doesn't really matter, it's not like the church has a good track record for protecting children anyway. So whatever, fuck it, here's a teaching degree and some tenure. Now on my second playthrough, I had a pretty good idea of what kind of skills would be required in the late game. Namely, all the best final classes are mounted units. Paladin, mounted. Cleric, mounted. Mage, mounted. Even a slow ass armor knight wearing 700 pounds of armor gets a horse by the end game. Luckily, the game allows you to set learning goals, which allows you to push your students toward a particular direction. Needless to say, horse ride became mandatory in this classroom. Not only did horse ride become mandatory for everyone, but the player character also has the option of tutoring individual students each week. I use this opportunity to drill the art of horse riding even further. Just imagine that situation for a moment. You're the daughter of an elite noble lord or the future leader of an entire country. Your teacher is suddenly replaced with someone your own age who immediately steers the curriculum to all horses all the fucking time. To make matters worse, you're sometimes pulled aside and you have to engage in these one-on-one -on -one private sessions with the professor about fucking horses. Imagine how horrible that would be. How would that conversation even start? All right, students, that'll be all for today. Remember to study for the horse grooming exam and to review the fundamentals of strategic cavalry formations. Hey, Bernadette, can I see you after class? She's like, is this going to be about... Yes, it's about horses. It's always about fucking horses. I control you in life or death situations. Now come here and name all of the My Little Ponies. Uh, Rapidash? Goddamn, Bernie, that's a Pokemon. I want a five-page essay about horse breeding on my desk by tomorrow morning. I put those little bastards through this for months. You need a goddamn A rank in writing to use those master classes. After about three to four months of this nonsense, I just so happened to glance at the stat sheet for the professor and I made a discovery. My own ranking in horse riding and knowledge was an E. That is the absolute lowest possible ranking you can have in a skill in this game. I did not have any experience points in horses. My character literally knew fuck all about horses. For months, these students endured countless hours and hours of lectures and tutoring on horses by a fuckwit who probably couldn't identify a horse in a police lineup. Sure as shit helped to paint a different situation regarding all those classes and tutoring sessions. Poor Bernie already deals with anxiety, had to put her and everyone else through that shit. Turns out the teacher was an idiot. Fess is all like, food goes into the front mouth part and then they turn that into poo poo and then then the poo poo comes out the butthole that's that's how that happens poor birdie's like can i please practice with my bow you're playing with permadeath his professor just ignores you see if you put the food in the in the butthole in that won't work that just makes the horse get angry and he starts kicking i tell you what it wasn't worth all that hassle to unlock master classes a little early it seems to have had a negligible impact on the game experience overall, and I just kind of tortured that class for months for pretty much nothing. The goddamn professor was able to solo the end of the game anyway. This was because I spent the whole game growing and cultivating a massive quantity of permanent stat-boosting items that juice the professor during the final chapters. That's right, the horse-whispering, dipshit, dumbass teacher was secretly growing performance enhancers on school property all year long. In-game professor came on the field looking like Brock Lesnar and shit. Just this mute, illiterate, refrigerator-shaped demigod swung at the last boss like fucking Mark McGuire on Roid Rage. Best part is I never did assign the professor a horse. Maybe on the next playthrough I'll focus on riding and Roy's and turn the professor into Lance Armstrong. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, then please like it and subscribe. This is a re-upload of the first video I made about a week ago. I learned a couple new tricks and decided to go back and change a few things. I'm going to try and keep uploading to at least once a week, maybe more if time permits. Given this is my first video on a brand new channel, I have zero subscribers, zero comments, zero pretty much everything. I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel, so I decided now is a better time than any to jump in and give it a shot. Still not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing with this channel, but, you know, seems to be working out okay so far, so we'll just see how things go. Anyways, thank you very much.